So right now there's a product selling like crazy and chances are you haven't even heard about it. A listing with over $150,000 in revenue and 15K per month. A bestseller here, a popular listing there and the success just keeps coming. So in the next few minutes, I'll reveal this product and walk you through how to create and sell your own. TV frame art. What? I know. Let me explain. There's a trend of people using TVs as hung art. So when the TV is not playing, you can have an image displayed on it so it looks like a cool piece of art around your house instead of a boring black screen. Now, while this appears to be a standard wall art business with millions of competitors, this product stands out because it's being marketed as TV artwork and not printed wall art. If we go to Etsy and look for TV frame art, we'll notice that almost every listing has a bestseller or pop popular now label, which shows the demand in that niche. This store opened nine months ago and offers many types of TV artwork. And based on the consistent reviews, I'm sure it's making money. But this is not enough, as I'd like to know which listings generate the most sales. And to do so, we will use Allura. So I'll start by copying the store name and go straight to Allura. On the dashboard, I'll navigate to the left-hand menu and select Research and then Shop. Doing that will open up the Shop Analyzer tool, and by entering the shop's name here and clicking search will get more insights about this shop. For example, this shop has made around 6,000 sales, generating a total revenue of $38,000. And if we click here to change to the monthly revenue view, we'll find it generates around $4,000 a month. Now, if we scroll down, we'll see all the listings from this shop. I always prefer to sort them by monthly revenue, which is a great way to see what people are actually buying. So this one, for example, brings in $1,700 per month. This one, 700, the next 500, etc., etc. So you can start opening up these top selling listings and analyze them for a better understanding. Another method I use to find winning listings is the product research tool inside Allura. And here you need to enter relevant search terms. So for example, if I'm looking into TV frame art, I type in TV frame art, frame TV art, TV artwork, or something similar. And right here, as you can see, we have several filters available to refine our search to the most successful listings. We can specify a minimum for monthly sales, monthly revenue, the listing age, listing type, and much more. And with my professional plan, I gained the benefit of being able to analyze over 10 million listings. So once we click search, we'll have access to thousands of successful products. Here's one making 15,000, another making 5,000, and the list goes on as you can see. Using a tool like Allura saves you hours of research and ensures you invest your time in creating a product that's proven to work. So click my link below to try Allura for free. And if you are serious about starting a side hustle, I recommend the growth plan for just $9.99 a month for the annual subscription or $19.99 if you prefer going monthly. Okay, so after doing the research, I noticed that vintage natural themed designs are getting the most sales. This listing, for example, offers a vintage art collection and makes $15,000 per month. And here's also another vintage slash Christmas listing that makes over $2,000. And most of these listings are in high demand, as you can see. By the way, I forgot to mention, if you want to view the earnings like I'm doing here, make sure to add the Allura Chrome extension to your browser. Anyway, you might think creating these designs is complicated, but I promise you it's not. And here's how to do it. First, you'll need an AI image generator. I personally like Midjourney, but you can use the one you prefer. Inside Midjourney, we need to write a prompt, which should include the image description and art style. So let's say you wanna replicate this flower artwork. It's in high demand and has a bestseller label, which makes it a good choice to try and sell. I always start by looking at the image and the title to get a sense of the design. So in the image, we can see white flowers arranged in a white vase on the table, styled like a vintage painting painting with brush strokes effect. And the title helps me pick out keywords for writing the prompt, like white hydrangeas for the description. And rustic farmhouse points to the art style. And using this info, we can now create the design. I'm on the web version of Midjourney, so I'll click create and enter my prompt here at the top. White hydrangeas in a white vase on the table in the style of rustic painting with soft brush strokes. And using the filters, I will adjust the image size to 16 by nine, providing a wide dimension that suits 
suits most screens. So after hitting enter and in a matter of seconds, we got this beautiful looking painting. It's very similar to the one on Etsy, which is actually quite impressive. Next, I'll click here to upscale the design, which will give us a higher quality version. If we zoom in, you'll notice the difference. Now, another easy way to recreate designs is to find one you like and take a screenshot. Next, go to Midjourney on Discord and use the describe image command. Press Ctrl plus V to paste your screenshot as seen here. And finally, hit enter. Midjourney will process the image, offering you four different prompts to try. And most of the time, you'll get results that match the original design all with minimal effort. Or what you can also do is use ChatGPT to brainstorm ideas. To do this, you can use the following prompt. Can you provide me with a list of niche themed painting ideas, each with a unique description? So just replace the niche with something like nature, Christmas, fantasy, or whatever you like. After generating the list, you do the same thing. Copy the image description and use it to write the prompt and generate the designs. After crafting the designs, the next step is to create mockups to give them a realistic appearance. And by mockups, I mean the product images. And one thing I'm noticing is that most listings use the same wooden frame mockup image, which seems to work the best. The first way to get mockups is to buy them. If you search for TV frame mockup on Etsy, you'll find various choices. Suppose you like this one. You just buy it and then use it to showcase your product. Or you can use Midjourney to create your own mockup design. And I've actually created all the mockups you see right now using AI. Here's how to do it. You start with a simple prompt, like an empty wooden frame on a white background. And here's the result of that image. After that, head to Canva and create a new design. Then upload the mockup image. Right click on it and choose set as background. Then on the left hand side, select elements and pick an image frame. Adjust this frame to fit your mockup image as shown on the screen. Once that's done, drag and drop your design into the frame. And there you have it, your own mockup image that you can use over and over again for different designs. And this same process was used to create all the images you see. So you should have everything ready at this point and it's time to list your product for sale. On your Etsy seller dashboard, click on listings and then add a listing. And since we're selling only the designs, this will be a digital product. On this page, you will fill out the listing details, such as the name, images, description, pricing, etc. Now, to deliver your designs, you must upload them under digital files right here. For instance, if we're selling the flower image we created, click add file and upload it here directly. However, if you offer more than five images, you have two options. The first is to compress your images into a zip file and upload that file here. And the second is to upload the images to a Google Drive folder and create a PDF redirecting buyers to that folder. In this scenario, you must upload the PDF as the delivery file. Once you have everything ready, click the publish button and you should be good to go. And of course, the more designs you upload, the better your chances of seeing results. And if you want to learn how to start a Pinterest automation business using AI, make sure to watch this video on my channel. I promise you'll like it. Thanks for watching.